Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junkmaster3. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Finally, I'm back with a new video. Uh, I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded any videos in the last like two or three weeks, but I've been so damn tired and had really no energy to make a video. So I um, now all of a sudden I just felt, well, I should really make a video because I have some movies and TV series and stuff that I need to show you, uh, like an update video basically. So, uh, and hopefully the uh, top five of the month is going to come up as well in the beginning of December. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, first off, I'm going to start by showing you the TV series that I picked up. Uh, I picked up the uh, Power Rangers Mystic Force. Uh, the reason why is because I remember I watched this back in the day when Jetix was still around, that TV channel. And then Disney bought it up and then just pretty much just destroyed everything, basically. Like they usually do nowadays, but... Um, yeah, this is volume one. Uh, I'm not really sure. I remember that I liked this series back in the day, but maybe I don't like it anymore, but I'm still ready to give it a chance. So, yeah, Power Rangers volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six, and volume seven. I still have uh, volume eight missing, so that's the only one that I need to pick up as well. Now, I'm going to continue with the two uh, VHS tapes. These are the only two VHS tapes that I've picked up recently, but I'm not too sure. I might have showed you this VHS in a, another update video. I'm not too sure anymore, but uh, yeah. The movie is called My, Werewolf, uh, My Mom's a Werewolf, which I don't think... I think this is like in the public domain, and uh, for some damn weird reason, it seems like this movie has never gotten an official DVD release, except for maybe that uh, million movies pack or whatever it's called. You can pretty much pick it up in any of those packs, basically. Uh, but I think that's the only re uh, way to get this movie on DVD. Uh, but I think this is very underrated. I did not expect... Um, I did not expect that I would have liked this much, as much as I did. Because <clears throat> it didn't have a that good rating on IMDb, but I really like the premise and it's really na nice and awesome 80s horror comedy in my opinion. So uh, yeah, my mom's a werewolf. Then the next VHS tape that I picked up is the film called The Concrete Jungle. This is a women in prison film, which I haven't seen yet, but uh, I've... I've gotten more, gotten more and more into those type of films. I really like the trashiness of it and the cheesiness and the the action sequences and all that. So uh, yeah, The Concrete Jungle. Never seen this one before, but uh, but it's supposed to be one of the better ones. I think this might also have been directed by Tom DeSimone, uh, who also directed Reform School Girls and... Uh, now I can't remember any other women in prison film he directed, but I think he directed like two or three of them. So uh, yeah, uh, the Concrete Jungle. Now on to the other DVDs in, in the update video. Uh, first up, we have this one. I'm not really sure if I can even show this because I'm just gonna assume people would get offended by it. But this was included in the 1001 films that you need to watch before you die. So that's the main reason why I picked it up, but uh, yeah, it's the Triumph of the Will, like a documentary about the entire, like, pre-war, uh, before the Second World War broke out, basically. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how, um, how disturbing or how creepy this is. So, yeah. Now, let's see here. The next one I picked up is the movie called Shaft. I have the newer version with uh, Samuel L. Jackson, but I haven't. I think I have seen that one, but I didn't realize that was the remake at the time. So I picked up this original one with uh, what's his name, Richard, Richard Roundtree, uh, and I'm actually waiting for the second movie to arrive as well. I know there's a third one as well, so I need to track that one down as well. But uh, yeah, Shaft, some really amazing black exploitation film apparently. And then we have another action film from the, uh, I think this is the early 90s, with uh, Jeff Wincott, who was also in, I think he was the one that was also in the Mission of Justice movie, so uh, yeah. The movie is Deadly Bet, 
uh, basically picked it up because it's like an early 90s film and the early 90s were really I mean they were releasing so damn many martial art films in general uh, during that period of time or like tournament fight to the death type of films in general so uh, yeah might have been something like uh, I'm a big fan of those other films like best of the best and shoot fighter and those films as well so uh, ho hoping for this one to be quite similar in some way so uh, yeah deadly bets so the next films are all of these are horror films I believe so uh, yeah I think it depends on who you ask every time but uh, yeah the next one is a film called the Jigsaw Murders uh, picked it up because it was directed by the same guy who did Jack or uh, not Jack what's it called uh, Hack or Lantern uh, and uh, this is also like a code red DVD release I'm pretty sure you can see it there I'm collecting those DVDs DVD releases so uh, yeah this is maybe more of a thriller than a straightforward horror film from what I can what I've read about so uh, yeah the Jigsaw Murders then we have a uh, another slasher film from the late 80s, a film called Curfew. Uh, that was pretty much the only reason why I picked it up, because it's a slasher from the 80s. and I'm a sucker for slasher, slasher films from the 80s in general, uh, even though I have seen quite many really bad ones quite lately. So uh, yeah, but uh, Curfew, really hoping for this one to be at least decent. So yeah, Curfew from 1989. Then we have a film which I've been looking for for like ages and when I found it for a decent price I was like oh my god I need to get this right away because otherwise I'll have to wait another five years or so. Uh, the movie is called Killing Spree. This is by Tim Ritter and released by Camp Motion Pictures. This, if I remember correctly, this had some really amazing practical effects like practical gore effects which I really enjoyed. And when you watch this type of film, uh, you don't really want to have any, or like you don't really need any bigger or complex storyline. You pretty much just watch it for the gore effects alone, in my opinion at least. So, and I think the soundtrack was quite good as well, if I remember correctly. So, uh, yeah, killing spree. Then we have a f another film which I've been looking for quite some time, which I. I'm really glad I found as well. Uh, this is a sequel to a film I had in my collection before, which I just assumed that I would probably never find anyway. So, really glad to have this one. Uh, Red Room 2. Uh, the, th the first one was quite disturbing. Not as disturbing as I thought it would be, but uh, not sure if this is going to be any better or worse. Or I think it depends on what type of things that disturb you. Um, but, uh, yeah, really glad that I finally found this film. So, uh, yeah, deep... Uh, deep room <laughs> red room 2 that's not a really strange deep room uh, and the final film that I picked up uh, is uh, the film called the red monks from the late 80s and for some weird reason I think he only served as a producer or something because this does not make any sense because according to this DVD this film is directed by Lucio Fulci but when I looked it up on IMDb, it says this was directed by some other guy. So I think Lucy Fulci probably just produced this one or wrote the screenplay or something like that. So the info on the back is completely wrong. So uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, the Red Monks, I always wanted to see this one. But uh, yeah, I have no idea if it's going to be good or bad or not. But uh, yeah, I'll we'll just have to see him wait. And uh, yeah, Red Monks. Thank you very much for watching this update video. I know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I haven't posted that many videos lately, but I've seen I've been so damn tired and haven't gotten energy for it. Um, so uh, yeah, apologies for that. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes open for the top five of the month uh, for the month of uh, November. So uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.